Chana Khalili Su and Moez Street with the Cairo Metro. I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I take travelers to Egypt on group tours, I lead private tours myself, and I also get folks connected with my trusted and vetted Egyptian partners and make customized itineraries. You can get in touch by heading to my website, egyptadventurestravel.com, to fill out an interest form and tell me about your trip to Egypt. Today, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take public transportation to get from the island of Zemalek in central Cairo to Khan Khalili, the souk that a lot of tourists visit to go shopping at, and also Moaz Street, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I always tell travelers that going to Moaz Street and to Khan Khalili is not just for people who want to shop or who want to buy souvenirs. It's also a really historical area with over a thousand years of history and beautiful Islamic architecture. So let's check it out by heading there on the Cairo Metro. Today I'm taking the metro from Zemalek and I'm getting in at the Safa Hagezi metro station. But you can get in the metro at tons of different stations throughout downtown Cairo and other popular tourist areas. You just need to make sure that you follow the directions, transferring eventually to the Green Line 3 to get to Khana Khalili. Ticket prices for the Cairo Metro are based on what station you get in and get out at. So make sure you tell the ticket seller you want to get out at Bab Ishadaya Metro so that they know how much your ticket needs to be. Make sure that you hold on to this ticket because you are going to need it to exit the metro when you get to Bab Ishadaya Station. So hold on to it, put it in your pocket, put it in your wallet, do not lose it. Every metro station is a little different and the Green Line 3 is the newest metro line, so this station is practically brand new. But at every metro, you're gonna have signage in English and in Arabic, and there also is a ladies only section of the metro car that women can feel free to take. The Cairo Metro can be super busy at different times and on different days. This is a very sparse crowd compared to what I'm used to with the Cairo Metro. Now that the train's here, it's time to get on and make sure we're going in the right direction. For these new trains on Green Line 3, the map will show you where you're going. For some of the older trains you might take to transfer to Green Line 3, you'll need to pay attention to the stops. All stop signs are written in English and Arabic, so you can easily verify that you're going in the right direction. For travelers going from a different origin point to the Hana Khalili Souk, you can use Google Maps to easily show you which metro lines you need to take and where you need to transfer in order to get onto the Green Line 3. Here's an example going from Tahrir Square. I got off the train at Babu Shara'iya metro station. I've got my ticket still with me, so now I'm gonna head up to the exit and get out of the station so we can start our walk over to Moez Street. Follow the English signs to exit, and all metro stations on the Green Line 3 have escalators and elevators. Remember, you kept that ticket. You're gonna need it right here in order to exit from the metro. Now that we've exited the metro, it's time to put into Google Maps to get us from our location to Moez Street. I use La Riyadh Hotel as a really good landmark on Moez Street. Start walking north toward Bab El Shadaya Square. So I'm showing you the metro sign right behind me, and in front of me, we've got the square. It's hard to tell right now, but I'm walking toward Midan Bab El Shadaya or Bab El Shadaya Square. Here's a look of the square close up once I've arrived. I'm gonna cross over Babu Shara'iya Square on the right hand side and I'm gonna continue walking north. There's the square again. And now I'm going to walk up a little bit and turn right onto this major street. It's full of restaurant and cooking supplies so you can't miss it. Quick note to say that this street is going to dump me out on Moez Street itself. And then in order to see all of Moez Street, I'm gonna wanna take a left to go down to Bab El Fatuh, which is kind of the beginning of the walking tour that most people do of Moez. And then after Bab El Fatuh, turning around and going all the way up Moez Street before hanging a left, going into um, Hossein Mosque area and the Khana Khalili Soup. Here's a map to show you what I mean. The blue arrow is my walking path. It's gonna dump me out onto the yellow circle. Then I can turn left to go to Bab Fatuh, or I can turn right to go to the Khana Khalili Souk. This is a local street, but the people on it are used to seeing tourists coming to and from Moez Street. It's very safe, and I would recommend it to any traveler who's got a bit of courage and gumption about them. 
I'm almost to the end of the street where it will tee and then I can turn left or right. You'll see the street ending up here ahead. All in all, the walk from the metro is only about 15 minutes. Now that the street has ended, behind me is Moez Street. If I were to turn this way, which would be if I'm facing Moez Street going left, that would take me to Babel Fatuh. And then heading this way after a while and hanging a left turn would take me to the Khana Khalili Souk. I hope this video was able to help you take the Cairo Metro to get from wherever you are in Cairo to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Moez Street and the Khana Khalili Souk. I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. Thanks for watching.